This week I have been working on fixing CSS, breaking it, and trying to fix it again. I don't know what was going on. I'm working on the item detail page where I've been showing small images of the same item where you can click through and stuff like that. And also the checkout page. Now, I don't know what was wrong with me this week. If you saw my Twitch stream, that's twitch.tv forward slash cdev010. That is a mouthful to say. If you saw my stream, you would have noticed that my brain just melted and I could not do anything. So given that, I am extremely happy with what I've managed to build this week. Like, I am over the moon. So diving right in, if I go to the shop page and click on an item, I have updated the item detail page here. I've got these nice little click through of images. So I changed the main image on click. I thought that was brilliant. I've updated the layout a little bit. So on desktop, it's a two column grid here. Everything else spans the two columns, but it's nice to separate the description. Obviously it would be even nicer to have a bit more of a description. If I go to mobile or a smaller screen, it's just the one column. Things are kind of floated over to the left hand side. And again, the images work nicely. And on mobile, this actually scrolls on touch, which is great. Didn't actually mean to implement that, but I somehow managed it. So very, very happy with how that is looking. There, I have noticed a few issues with the shop detail page. If I go to an item that only has one of the types, so I've only got one RAM item in my JSON file, this related product thing just breaks. Well, it doesn't really break, but it doesn't show anything. So that is a bit of a bug. So I need to check that the related products also has a length that should solve that. If I add this to the basket, go to the shop, add a few more things to the basket, uh, let's, uh, let's show you the filter as well. I, again, I was having issues with CSS. A lot of it was to do with these item cards. I think I still have a few issues, but if I add and filter, everything kind of looks nice. Some things I don't have any products for, that's fine. But if I click on the basket right now, watch this, Ooh, it slides in, which is so cool. But there's an issue. <laughs> The overflow clearly isn't working on this hover. That shouldn't be too difficult to fix. Otherwise, it's looking really nice and I click off of it and it goes away. There is a checkout page and that will take me to the actual checkout basket. Again, I've got price at the bottom and these cards seem fine. But I'm gonna have another button down here, which will kind of just have an alert or something like that, where it says, this isn't the real store. <laughs> Just to make it absolutely clear that this isn't a store. <laughs> There's also something with the basket slide that I might try. I'm not 100% sure if I am gonna try it. It may not work at all, but we'll see. So right now, if you click the basket, it slides in and you have to click the cross to close it. What would be really nice is if I somehow clicked out of it, then it would slide away. And I've done something kind of similar with the search bar. So I have got a search feature working. Literally spent half an hour on it this morning, so it's not perfect. But if I click on this, it creates this, well, it doesn't create, it shows the input. And if I type in motherboard, for instance, it goes to the, shop page, but I'm calling it search and then mother, well, that's the search term. So motherboard and then that's showing all the motherboards here, which is great. That is one issue. Search is, it only displays if it's in focus. So if I click out of it, it kind of hides. I don't know if I like that or not, but I can also type in, let's say Intel, oops, Intel. So. I'm looking in the name of the product, the description, and also the category when I'm doing the filtering. So there's clearly Intel in the description on this motherboard and on these motherboards as well. So I think that works really nicely. And if I delete all the search, it just goes to the shop page 
Like for be, for half an hour of work, I am very happy with how that search is working. We've also had a few bits of feedback from my colleagues, which is really nice. A few things such as having a pointer on basket and search would be really good. My, my colleague was the one that actually pointed out this overflow issue. So I'm grateful for that. And another one suggested actually removing the homepage. So removing this, cause I need to put some sort of background image on here to make it look a little bit nicer. We just thought like maybe have a hero section and then go straight into the shop below it. So I may go down that route, but I'm thinking first to build everything, get all the functionality working, and then I'll branch my Git repo and try and create that. So I think that's a good little idea. But I am getting so close to finishing. I'm really happy with my progress. <laughs> One more thing actually on the search functionality, as I said, only brought it in recently. This, I don't like this. It's because it is actually there. It's just got an opacity of zero. What I need to do is also put in a width of zero and kind of get it aligning a little bit nicer. A few things that need tweaking with this search thing, but overall, very, very happy. So for next week, I've got a few aims. Actually, it would be really nice to finish it if I can get these done. Amazing. First up is to tidy up the search functionality, you know, make the search box look a little bit nicer, sort out the width and everything like that on mobile. Secondly is to add in the alert or some sort of modal just to say on checkout that this isn't a real store. And then finally, I want to attempt having that basket slide in to then slide out when you click out of it. I think an easy way would be to have a on-click listener maybe on the body, but I do want to try it with this focus element idea as well. Will it work? I don't know, but I am going to attempt it. If you've got any feedback on this, that would be brilliant. Let me know in the comments down below. Is there anything you think I should be implementing that I've missed out? Please do let me know. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more, then please subscribe. Hope you all have a great day and I'll catch you later.